Hello! Hello and welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. There are chemicals found in food that are known endocrine disruptors, meaning that they disrupt your hormones. Today we'll take a look at one group of these that make their way into the food chain and can disrupt the growth of your unborn child's tinky winky. Fun Fact Friday, week 119. Too much chicken in pregnancy may shrink your child's penis. Sounds crazy, right? We thought so too, so we did a bit of digging. Today's fun fact is brought to you by the vegan extreme, Peter, AKA the people for the ethical treatment of animals. They believe that everyone should be vegan and they use scaremongering ad campaigns to convert the vulnerable and susceptible to their brand of veganism. The only reason we mention them at all is because today's fact was first brought to light in one of their campaigns that targeted expectant mothers. Whilst the underlying principle behind the fact may be correct, it's not all it appears once you dig below the surface. You could cause similar issues by lying on lino floor tiles, licking vinyl records, wrapping all your food in cling film before eating it, or whilst unlikely if you're pregnant, wearing squeaky PVC outfits. Oh baby, baby, oops, I did it again. The principal chemicals behind today's fact are a group of them known as phthalates that are used to soften and increase the flexibility of plastics and vinyl. Phthalates show up in every part of most people's lives and they can be found in many things such as cosmetics personal care products hairspray soap nail polish moisturizers many flexible plastics including vinyl toys shower curtains wallpaper blinds food packaging wood finishes detergents adhesives plumbing lubricants medical tubing and fluid bags like the ones that collect blood solvents insecticides, building materials, lino and other vinyl flooring. And to our surprise, cling film. A look at the back of our box shows that we've been using it wrong, quite lightly increasing our own exposure unnecessarily. Oh, hmm. shit. Oh dear. Most scarily, phthalates were used in children's toys for many years. Thankfully in the EU, it was temporarily banned from children's toys in 1999 and that temporary ban became permanent in 2005. Phthalates are known to have an anti-androgen effect. So what is an androgen? An androgen is a steroid hormone that regulates the maintenance of male characteristics. The most recognizable androgen goes by the name of testosterone. When phthalates block androgens, including testosterone, in developing babies, its effects will mainly be targeted at boys and more specifically the development of their boy bits. The World Health Organization, aka WHO, issued a warning in 2012 about these chemicals. In addition to the hormone issues, it stated that children who are exposed to these chemicals whilst in the womb are at an increased risk of endocrine related cancers, behavioral and learning problems, including ADHD, infections, asthma, and perhaps obesity and diabetes. There have been studies that show the links between phthalate exposure whilst in utero and small penises in baby boys. These studies have been shown that a boy's immature reproductive parts are the most vulnerable to the potential effects of phthalates. The effects of exposure to phthalates that a baby receives in utero is also linked to impairment of their reproductive function in adulthood. The association with phthalates and chicken is a loose one. There are high levels in many foods and some are worse than others. Phthalates enter an animal system via their food and water much in the same way as our own and it is subsequently stored in their fat. That fat is then eaten by us. Because of this, those who have meat and dairy heavy diets tend to have higher levels of phthalates than those who eat diets rich in plant-based foods. Higher fat foods are more prone to chemical leaching, thus meaning that they are more likely to contain phthalates when they have come into contact with them. Heat makes chemical leaching easier and thus more likely to occur when plastics are heated. 
Even moderate heat in microwaves and dishwashers can cause plastics to degrade and leach more. But there is one study that shines a little ray of sun on the gloom of phthalate exposure. It showed that 24 hours into fasting, people's phthalate levels drop by five to 10 times. This makes figuring out where to start and tackling our exposure far easier, as these results would indicate that our highest exposure comes from the food and drinks we consume. Phthalates are everywhere and completely avoiding them is near impossible. There are no regulations to state whether food has come into contact with them or not. They lurk in everything, in the plastic tubes that liquids are passed through, such as milk in the dairy industry, to the storage containers and packaging that have housed our food as it's been stored in warehouses or travelled from source to plate. It's in many things that we use on a daily basis from our household chemicals to our personal care products. Whilst you can't avoid phthalates completely, you can reduce your frequency of contact by addressing the worst offender food and drink. Having delved into this world ourselves for this week's Fun Fact Friday, we will have to do some reassessing of our own practices. Over time, we will try to switch our food and drink containers to non-plastic, eat more plants, lessen our use of our second favorite food containment device, the humble resealable plastic bag, not that one, and of course, stop wrapping our food, especially those high in fat, with our favorite misunderstood and improperly used covering Cling film. Thank you for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday. We would love to hear from you, so please like, comment and share to show you care. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>